for starters to get your snail processed from this into this can be a little bit challenging and for people planning to venture into the snail processing business without the idea of the numbers of snail to process in order to meet up a certain kilogram of snail meat don't worry that's why in this video i'll be showing the traditional method of processing the snail and i'll be sharing few tips in order to get quality meat out of the snails so please if you are new to the channel remember to like the video subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon to stay notified when i release quality videos on the channel without wasting much of our time let's go in order to get the weight of the snails we started with we will be weighing and also when the snails come in they come in dirty when they are freshly picked from the farm so this is what the snails look like after the first rinse the snail is rinsed the second time in order to clean them properly as not to contaminate the meat during processing the traditional method of processing the snail involves eating the snail with a heavy object like stone, hammer and the like. But of the listed items, hammer is the least favorite to use because when you eat the snail with hammer, it only impacts that point where you eat the shell and won't shatter the shell completely making the meat extraction process very strenuous. That's why it's advisable to use a stone with a flat surface whereby the force will be sheared uniformly firmly around the shell and you shatter the shell completely making the meat extraction easy and the benefit of this process is that it enables you sort the snails into the various products the first major product is the snail meat which is consumed by us and the second product is the snail intestine which is rich in protein and can be used to feed livestock like fish and also the third product is the snail shell which is rich in calcium and can also be processed into um, calcium source for the snail and other livestock feed i've released a video on how to process the snail shell into calcium source i will be dropping the link to the video in the description box below all right while you are removing the snail meat from the shell special attention should be paid to the part where the muzzle of the snail attached to the shell the shell fragments in that region should be removed carefully and also in the process of removing the snail meat from the snail intestine you should pay attention to the snail stomach this is the fluid field segment which enters the snail meat it contains the digestive juices the snail feed and also some particle of soil you should pull that out completely with all part of the intestine and what you are left with is the clean meat and the intestine separated completely another product gotten while processing the snail is also the snail blood which is the emolymph but we won't be focusing on that in this video i'll be releasing a separate video on that in the future and during the processing of snail it can really be messy but you can easily solve this by mixing halum or dissolving halum inside water and washing your hand in that all you left with a cleaner that you can repeat the process when needed in order to clean the snail meat properly, the first thing you do is to prepare the alum solution and this can simply be done by dissolving aluminium sulfate in water and then you rinse the snail meat in it to reduce the slimy nature of the snail meat. The purpose of using the alum solution is to coagulate the snail slime because alum possesses coagulatory properties and this will enable you to handle the snail meat conveniently. After the snails have been rinsed in the alum solution, you notice a change in the texture of the snail meat. But in order to clean the snail meat properly, you have to focus on two points. The first point is the opening on the foot of the snail. You need to remove the coagulated slime that will be congested in that area. And also with the use of a knife, the white part beneath the foot of the snail you need to scrape it off there is a dirt in that region so you scrape that off also and after that has been done you need to split the snail foot into two equal halves this exposes the space between the foot because you might have soil trapped between the foot remember to remove the undissolved halon residue from the water you can always reuse that some other day then you need to give the snail a good rinse 
in a pure ordinary water and then you can bag the snail or you can further process it by cooking the snail, smoking it or by dehydrating the snail depending on the need of your client or your own personal consumption need. And voila, this is what you have after you've rinsed the snail in a very clean water. After weighing the meat gotten from the snail and based on experience, it can be established that you get between 28% to 35% of meat from the snail you process. That is, if you are to get 1 kg of snail meat, you will need to process around 3 kg of live snail to get that kilogram of snail meat. Alright, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified once I release quality videos on the channel. Till next time, a peace.